Ladies and gentlemen, it's our pleasure to introduce Mr. Carlos Slim, the co-chair of our meeting. Thank you. Good morning to all, excellencies, industry leaders, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. It is a real pleasure to be with, with all of you again at a new meeting of the Broadband Commission for Digital Development. It is also an honor to co-chair this meeting with my friend, His Excellency, President Paul Kagami, President of the Republic of Rwanda, that is uh, coming later, and to have by my side the two co-visit chairs of the Commission, Dr. Hamadun Touré, Secretary General of ITU, and Irina Bokova, Director General of UNESCO. This is our sixth meeting since we started our work back in 2010, and it has been three years of activity and progress building the case for the potential of broadband networks, services, and applications to drive economic growth, bring social inclusion, and promote sustainable development. During this period, our commission has maintained a very practical approach, focused on producing concrete deliverables and clear recommendations for policy makers, the industry, and the academy, the civil society, and other stakeholders. During the meeting we will have today, we will be presenting our latest report, The State of Broadband 2012, which has been produced with inputs provided by all of us. The report presents a clear progress we are making towards the Commission targets for 2015, and we can say very proudly that our Commission and the organization that we represent have contributed to make the progress possible. We will receive further information on this topic during the day. But uh, even if we have been successful in this work, we shouldn't stop here. We still have two more years of work up to 2015, and there are still many challenges that need to be addressed. Let me hi highlight some of the areas that I believe should be addressed in our next activities. Broadband can help small and medium enterprises to compete and improve their productivity, allowing them to create new jobs, offer value-added services, and access to new markets. This is an area that we, are, that we will further explore during the upcoming two years, and on this regard, we could consider adding a new target for our 2013 report to measure the access of small and medium enterprises to broadband. The second element is the need to focus on groups of the population, such as women and youth, that are still not fully benefiting from, from broadband. In Mexico, we are working with these groups and providing them the tools and in training to improve their education and bring them to labor market, even at executive levels. A significant example of this area is the work we are doing to help uh, to, to, to avoid the lack of education and take uh, people to the digital culture. With broadband, we can positively engage our youth to contribute to the building of prosperous communities and eradicating the lack of education and opportunities that often result in despair and crime. It's uh, very important now to use the, the technology for education. It is not possible to multiply the university campus, the professors, the cost, the investments, and we need to move from the traditional education to the technology, technological education, and in this, we need to be with broadband like a way to, to do that. Finally, I'd like to continue emphasizing the need to promote local content and applications. To achieve this, we need to work at many different levels, including promoting and training of skilled professionals, providing funds so developers can create innovative applications, and showcasing best practices. Like you remember, best practices is one of the things that we've talked since the beginning, and it's very important to, to know what is done in the countries 
uh, and take the best practices of these countries and the experience they have to put to, uh, to work in our countries. This is something that we all are also doing in our country through the initiatives I present in past meetings of the Commission. And I could be happy to present directly to you in our next meeting of the Commission to be held in March 2013 in Mexico. We wait you. We will be very happy to welcome you in Mexico for the next meeting in March of next year. Let me bring this challenge and ideas to the discussion. Together, we are building broadband inclusion for all, in particular for those who need it most. Thank you very much.